Hi everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I am creating some wool diaper covers for my expected baby, what are referred to as soakers, and some wool longies. And wool longies are just like a wool diaper cover, but they're pants. This is the wool interlock fabric that I ordered. I've already pre-shrunk it in the wash. Katrina's soaker pattern which I will link in the description. It's a nice free pattern and you can see it has all the different sizes you might need. Also using a pattern from Katrina for the wool longies. The size small. Stick around guys. Okay, so I'm starting the prep of my longies pattern. This is my chosen size. And as you can see, it only has the pattern up to the crotch point and it requires that you extend the inseam as long as you desire it to be. Since my baby wasn't born yet, I just took a guess. And here is the waistband pattern. You can see it's multi-size. So I just traced off the size that I wanted and I extended it by two because this is meant to be cut on fold and I would rather not cut on fold. And cutting those out. And now I'm just cutting out the fabric. Now for the soakers, I had to figure out what size I wanted because I already have some small soakers in my stash and I wanted something bigger than that. So I'm just comparing the size here. So I decided on what size I wanted and I'm just tracing that off. And now I'm just drawing in the pattern for the extra pad that is sewn inside. And now I'm cutting all of those out. Okay, so now we're going to be making our longies. So here are our pattern pieces all cut out. There's the waistband and the two leg pieces. And so first I'm just going to be sewing the side seam of that waistband. And now I'm pinning together the leg pieces up onto the crotch point, which I marked with a notch when I was cutting. And so I'm using my modern machine for this project because it has a zigzag stitch and I decided to sew all my seams with a narrow zigzag. So just sewing those leg seams. Okay, so there are all my first seams sewn up. And so now I'm just turning those leg pieces right side out. Putting one inside of the other because now we're going to be sewing up that crotch seam. And one of the leg pieces is wrong side out and the other one is right side out so that they have right sides together. And I'm sewing that crotch seam now all the way around. Sort of in a C shape, if you can picture that. Just trimming off a little extra seam allowance that's hanging off in that corner. And now I'm just sewing a zigzag along the seam allowance. This is optional, but I chose to do it, just made it look a little more polished. 
And especially for the crotch seam, it does add that extra bit of reinforcement. Okay, so now I'm attaching the waistband. So the first step is to fold it in half along its length like this because it's meant to be doubled up like that. So now I'm going to be marking it all along its length with pins at the half point and the, the half points between those half points. So every quarter point will be marked with a pin. And then I will place those pins along the coinciding quarter points of the pants waist area. And this is because the waistband is actually a little shorter than the pants. It's meant to be stretched as you sew it and you want it to be evenly distributed all around the pants. There we go, so it's all pinned in place. And now as I'm sewing, again, I'm gently stretching that waistband so that it fits along the pants. And I'm using that narrow zigzag stitch. Okay, and that's what it looks like once the waistband is attached. And so I'm just finishing off that seam allowance with the zigzag stitch again. And again, this is optional. And finally, I just sewed a hem in the bottom of the pants. And technically this part's optional too, but it does make the bottom of the pants look a bit more polished. There we go, all finished. Okay, so now we're going to be making our wool soakers. So we have all our pattern pieces assembled. There's the main piece, the pad piece, and the leg cuffs, and then the waistband. So first I'm just sewing all the side seams of the waistband and the leg cuffs. And now I'm going to be sewing that pad into the center of the soaker. So just pinning it in place and you can see that the bigger end of the pad is over the bum area of the soaker. And I'm using a zigzag stitch right around the edge of that. And that's what it looks like once it's attached. It's not the neatest looking, but I don't know if there's any way around that. Okay, so now I'm going to be sewing the side seams of the soaker with right sides together. Again, just using that narrow zigzag stitch. Okay, so now we're going to be attaching our waistband and leg cuffs in exactly the same manner as we did with the longies waistband. So we're folding in half lengthwise, we're marking its half points with pins, and then the half points between those half points with pins. And then coinciding it with those same points on the diaper. And there we go. So you're gonna have to stretch it 
as you're sewing again. And now we're doing the leg cuffs. And finally, for a finishing touch, I decided to add these cute little tags that I bought from Kylie and the Machine, I believe it's called. And they say, you are loved on them, and I thought that was very appropriate. And another bonus of adding a tag is that it helps you to quickly identify what's the back and what's the front. And there we go, there are our finished longies and our finished soakers. And if you make these and you're interested in finding out the care instructions for wool diaper covers, head on over to my blog post, which will be linked in the description. Hi guys, so I'm back and it's a few months later and I have my sweet little baby here. His name is Edward. So he's wearing one of his wool diaper covers. At this point, it's still a little big, so I haven't really been using it too much. I made this in, it, I forget what size I made it in, but it was a little bigger because I already have wool diaper covers that are in the smaller size range. But I love wool diaper covers because they're so soft and comfortable natural and you don't have to wash them very often especially if the baby hasn't gotten poop on the diaper you do have to lanolize them of course that's what gives them their waterproofness and it's easy to pull on and off and i'll show you he's just wearing a pre-fold underneath of this closed with a snappy so you just put that on and then put this on over and it's a nice waterproof layer okay everybody if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and leave your comments and questions below and I will have the accompanying blog post linked for you in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.